What's up my gangsters? Welcome to your 13th Android tutorial again with me Travis for the new Boston. What we're gonna do in this tutorial is basically work with the Android manifest um, to get the splash activity to launch first. Now if we run an ap activity or application right now it's just gonna show this activity that we created um, a few tutorials ago and it's not even gonna recognize our splash activity and our splash activity is going to get super depressed if he, if he never gets recognized. So we're going to hook him up in the Android manifest. So I want you guys to open that up. And if it looks like this, I want you to go over to this right tab where we go into the actual XML code. And as you can see, here's our application bracket. And within our application bracket, we have the activity bracket. And this basically defines our activity and gives it some action names within an intent filter. You guys probably don't even care, or you don't even really need to know what an intent filter is for the moment. But basically, it adds some uh, reference points and some, you know, stuff to it for the most part. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that activity and paste it below, and we're going to change some things around because we want the splash activity or a splash class to start first. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the Android name from starting point to our class name called splash. And this does this is case sorry, this is case sensitive. So make sure you spell exactly how you spelled your class name. And now this is going to be what launches first because we have this launcher intent for the most part or the in, within the intent filter under our category name. So that's what's going to look for um, when our application starts. It's going to look for this launcher item and then see where that is, what cla what activity that's located in. And it's going to be like, oh, the splash activity. Uh, let's start that up. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. And so that's what's going to happen. But the problem is, right now we have two launcher items, one for starting point and one for splash. So we need to get rid of the launcher on our starting point and just let the starting point chill a little bit. Just relax, wait till he needs, uh, until we need him for the most part. So we're going to say default from launcher to default and you guys need to spell that correctly all uppercase uh, and that's basically just going to recognize that our activity is there but it's not going to do anything until we tell it to do anything. So that's what that is. The action name we're also going to change because when we want when we actually want our starting point to start or starting point activity to start, we're going to call the action name and start it that way. So a good way to keep track of all of your action names is type out your package name. So com dot the new Boston dot Travis and uh, then dot and then basically your class name in all uppercase. So starting point starting to lose my voice I'm sorry but uh, that's how we're gonna define our action name and again we can refer to this action name to start up our starting point class or activity when we want to. So there we go. Now pretty much everything is set up. Hopefully you guys kind of get an understanding of, for the, for the most part, what the action name is. Um, I shouldn't refer to this one. This is just kind of a. Uh, this is kind of what the phone is looking for as well when it starts up the launcher item. But um, as for the action name and setting it to either default or a launcher item. So there you go. That's basically the end of this tutorial. Let's check it out and make sure it works. So we're going to run it on the on the emulator real quick and hopefully we'll get our splash screen to come up instead of instead of a starting point. It looks like we did. So mission accomplished and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.